It looks like Samsung might finally be breaking free from the long-standing 5,000 mAh battery barrier that has held its Galaxy flagships captive for years. Exciting leaks suggest the Galaxy S26 Ultra is about to deliver the largest battery we've seen in a mainstream Samsung phone in ages. Galaxy S26 Ultra to feature a 5,200 mAh battery. According to the latest leak, the S26 Ultra is not just getting lighter and sleeker than its predecessors, it's finally packing more power. Instead of sticking to the long-standing 5,000 mAh battery, the new Ultra will reportedly come with a 5,200 mAh cell. That's a small jump on paper, but for users who have been waiting years for a real upgrade, it feels huge. Adding even more excitement, previous leaks suggest the S26 Ultra will support 60W fast charging, making this combination of capacity and speed a very welcome change. While it's not a radical overhaul, it shows Samsung is finally paying attention to what matters most to users. And it's probably about time, especially with leaks hinting at Apple's foldable iPhone packing competitive battery specs, Samsung fans have long grown weary of the stagnant 5,000 mAh Ultra batteries, watching as Apple's iPhone 17 Pro Max caught up in capacity. This subtle jump to 5,200 mAh may well be Samsung's way of staying one step ahead, proving once again that Apple often sets the pace for Samsung's innovations. Interestingly, the rumored Galaxy S26 Edge, whether it survives or not, might have influenced the Ultra's design. Leaks suggest Samsung pushed Leon battery limits with the Edge, and now it's applying those lessons to the S26 Ultra, slimmer, lighter, and yet more powerful. For longtime Galaxy fans, this isn't just a battery bump, it's a sign that Samsung is finally listening, innovating, and giving the power we've been craving. Samsung has always pushed its OLED screens a little brighter with each new Galaxy flagship, but that streak took a pause with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. That phone kept the same panel capped at 2,600 nits, and it looks like next year's Galaxy S26 won't break that ceiling either. Rumors point to Samsung shifting to a fresh M14 series OLED panel for the S26 lineup, which sounds exciting at first, but according to ICE Universe, this upgrade won't boost brightness at all. Every S26 model, even the Ultra, is expected to stick to 2,600 nits. Honestly, that's not a disaster. That level of brightness is still incredibly strong, and Samsung is making up for it in other ways. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to use Corning's Gorilla Armor 2 or a newer version with an anti-reflective coating. That matters more in real life than another few hundred nits. Cutting down reflections has a bigger impact on how the screen actually looks when you're outside. The shift to M14 panels is meaningful for other reasons. Apple's iPhone 17 and Google's Pixel 10 already made the jump, and those newer displays can hit around 3,000 nits while sipping less power. Samsung's current S24 and S25 models use M13 panels, which are great, but the newer tech is simply more efficient. Even if Samsung doesn't chase brightness this round, the S26 lineup should still feel upgraded where it counts. One of the most interesting leaks is a new privacy display mode for the S26 Ultra. It's supposed to automatically dim the screen in crowded places so sensitive info, like banking details, stays hidden. If it works as promised, that's a far bigger quality of life improvement than a brighter panel.